Hi there and welcome at Smelly Art. In a previous video I already talked about Katarina Belikova or as she's known on Instagram Ninja Joe Art. She's an amazing artist specialized in cyberpunk art and robots and a few days ago on Instagram she did a Q&A and I asked what should I draw? This was her answer. Draw a cyber cow. She meant it as a little joke of course but my answer was challenge accepted. And I thought it was a fun idea to take you guys with me on this adventure and to make a fun video about it. And if you are interested in learning how to draw robots and mechanical anatomy, keep watching the video guys because in this video I will share with you my 5 tips on how to draw machinery and tech parts. Now let's turn around the camera and let's draw our lovely Katerina Belikova a cyber cow. Here we go. So this is Katerina Belikova or Ninja Joe Art. She makes awesome digital paintings in a cyberpunk style. And if you are into this as well, you should go follow her on Instagram and YouTube. I've put links to her socials in the description of this video. Now let's get to work. Okay guys, here are my 5 tips on how to draw robots. Tip number 1. Work from large to small. Detailed drawings of robots or machinery can look very complex and this might scare off the beginner artist. But it's easier than you might think. Start working out the large basic shapes of your robot first. This will determine the overall look of your character. Once you have these down, you can start adding a first layer of details, like all the metal plates that make up for the different parts of your character. Keep all the small details like buttons, bolts and cables still last. You can go as detailed as you want, this is more a matter of style and taste. Ok, the rough sketch is done, time to break out some pencils to finish these lines and to add more details. Tip number 2. Create balance. Don't go overboard with details. If the entirety of your character is covered in little details, it will become very hard to read for the viewer. Try to find a nice balance between larger parts with less detail and other parts with more detail. I always put a bit more detail in the areas that will move like the arms, the legs or the neck area. For the chest I usually keep it a little bit more simple. Tip number 3. Use reference. If you are not used to draw mechanical anatomy, using reference can be of great value. Of course you can search the internet for images of robots, but I prefer to look at reference pictures of car engines, tractors, factories or the inside of an old transistor radio and work from there. And now that the pencils are done, it's time to kick this drawing into the last phase and that is... Thinking time. Here we go. Tip number 4. Rendering. Rendering is a great tool to make your robot look more interesting. Think about the surface of the different parts of your robot and how these should look. Is he brand new and shiny or more battle worn? I always try to mix different surface types into my robots. The larger parts tend to be more battle worn and the smaller parts or the interior of the robot more clean and shiny. Also keep in mind what the purpose of your robot is. Is he a butler type robot that serves people in a bar or hotel? Then I would keep him a bit more clean and shiny. If he is a war machine you should probably go for a more matte battle worn finish. Tip number 5. Create the illusion of functionality. You don't have to be an engineer and your robot certainly does not have to be able to work in the real world. But as an artist we need to create the illusion that our robot has functionality. So when designing your character, think about how all the parts should work. Can he bend his arms and legs? Do you show how this part would move and can he turn his head for example? If you want the viewer to believe your character is real and could exist in the real world, we need to consider all these questions and make sure we design our robot keeping these things in mind. I hope these tips inspire you guys to have a go at drawing robots yourself and please don't hesitate to share your results with me. Hey, you. Yes, you. Would you like to own a sticker or a print or a t-shirt or a coffee mug with my art on it? Well, from now on, that's possible. I opened a web shop on Redbubble. Redbubble is a global online marketplace for print-on-demand products based on user-submitted artwork. So I upload my art and they will print it for you on a wide range of cool products and gadgets. 
This way you can get yourself some original designs and support me as an artist at the same time. I've put a link in the description if you want to take a look. But you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm already very honored that you are here watching my video. And you can also support me for free by subscribing to my channel or just liking this video. Now back to making art. Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys like my drawing of the cyber cow. And please go check out Katerina Belikova or Ninja Joe Art on Instagram. And she also has a YouTube channel. And give this amazing artist some love. And if you liked the video, guys, why not hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell to be notified when I put out new videos. It's every Friday, a great way to start the weekend. And if you want to help me and this channel out even more, please share this video on all your social media platforms. It would help a lot. I wish you all a great weekend, my friends. We will see each other again next Friday. Bye.